Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create a shadow effect using Inkscape. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy our object and use that copy as the shadow because effectively speaking a shadow is the same shape as what the object is. So let's move our cursor over the object and left hand click on the mouse button. Now let us right hand click on the mouse button click on copy, right hand click again, click on paste. So now we're going to use this object here as our shadow. Now I'm going to make this into a grey color. I'm not going to go as a I'm not going to go into a black shadow. I'm going to make it more of a dark grey. At the bottom here we have all all our different color selections and I'm going to choose this grey color at the bottom left here. So I just click on that. You have to make sure the object is selected and when you click on it, it changes to that grey color. Now we want our shadow to be behind the object, so I want to move it behind the ball, the green ball. Left hand click wh and whilst I'm keeping my finger down on the left hand button, mouse button, drag it along. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see that the object is actually in front of the ball and not behind it, which is a problem. At the top here, you've got layers where you can actually drag your object in front or behind other objects. This one is to drag it all the way to the back, this is to drag it one step at a time depending on how many layers you have. So I'm just going to click this lower selection to bottom button and you see our shadow is now behind the green ball. I'm going to move it to about maybe there. Now okay it looks a bit like a shadow but it's not that realistic. Shadows tend to have a little bit of... they don't tend to be very sharp edges, they tend to be quite blurry. So if we go to the edit object toolbar here and click on it after a few seconds you will get this control panel on the right hand side if you cannot find this toolbar all you need to do is while your object is selected in this case what we want to make the shadow at the bottom here where it says fill and you see the color of it which is that gray color we picked you can double click that so double click it quite quickly and it also comes up we have a blur bar here so we can increase it and you can see it gets blurry so you can play with it depending on how you want to make the shadow I would estimate maybe something about about there so this shadow effect is it looks like a ball very close to a wall it gives you that impression that's what the shadow the impression of the shadow gives if I click back on the shadow, keep my finger down on the left hand button on the mouse and drag the shadow down to about there. I can then say this arrow here, left hand click it, keeping my finger down and moving the mouse downwards. I can squash the shadow a little bit. So now it looks like the shadow, the, the effect the shadow is giving is, it makes it look like the ball is in midair, about maybe an inch off the ground. And you can keep moving the directions of the shadow depending on what sort of effect you want to give. And uh, if you go to my website here, you can see the different sort of effects you can give the ball. So that's a very quick recap on how to create a nice shadow effect using Inkscape.